queen, the queen, my lower incisors for the queen. Where is that wretched creature? Indeed. Hey guys, Shadefire here once again with what is very possibly the penultimate episode of Let's Play American McGee's Alice, episode 36, Castle Keep. So now that we've finally intra infiltrated the queen's castle, we can hopefully track her down and kill her. And finish the game. And might I say, what an exciting prospect. Also, apparently we've replaced the fleshy lower levels with just straight up pools of blood. You know, at least I assume this is blood. Oh god, it's like acid blood. Dancing at me. Hmm. What is? Oh, it's a mirror. It doesn't look like a mirror, though. And I can't even. Oh, I just shot myself. Can't even reflect lasers. We've got... I don't remember if that's Tweedledum or Tweedledee, but it's one of them. The Jabberwock and uh, the Hatter. This is like the Queen's Three Champions. Doesn't matter, we've killed all three of them. That's the important part. And it looks like two more hearts over there, so I'm going to try to get a vantage point. Stupid heart missile. Uh, our Jabberwock fire got one of them. This thing seems to have infinite range too, which is nice. I'm gonna guess there's a puzzle here. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that switch probably moves the mirror. And one of these paintings is the one I have to aim at. Probably the Jabberwock. I'm guessing one of these is heart. It's not the Jabberwock. Oh, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? If each of them represent a suit and then the queen is the heart. But if the queen's the heart, that means that's not the right way. So I'm just gonna... I don't know. Check out what the other two reveal. Now this should turn it back to the hatter, which is spade, I think. Yeah. Now if Tweedledee slash Dumb comes up club, then I'm not sure what to do. I 
like it's a hard puzzle, I just... I'm not exactly sure what the nature of the puzzle is yet. So there's a mirror. The mirror points at each one. Can I jump backwards through it? Pulsating, or the suit. Does that mean anything? Hmm. That sound, right there. I'm gonna go check the other room first. something. Let's check it out first. Maybe yeah, that's just where I have to come. Um, an idea just came to me that's rather unpleasant. I might have to refight all the bosses, which I hope is not the case. But if it is, well, I found out the blunderbuss's effectiveness. As for you... Oh wow. I just backed into another one. Where the fuck are my jacks? Run away before that guy gets a shot. Never mind. Oh. That almost went unpleasantly for us. means the mirror unlocks... There's three doors in this hallway, and the mirror unlocks them one by one. I forget which one I turned it towards last time. It would be the diamond for the Jabberwock. Ow. Well, let's see what unpleasantness we can see. Yep. It looks like a boss rush. Oh. Um. Did I do it right? down here <laughs> without taking damage. Hmm. Alright, so this seems easy enough if that's the correct solution, which the fact that this guy respawned means it probably was, or else it would have spawned enemies in that room with me. So I su sur surmise. Which is good, that means that we don't have to fight three bosses in one level, and then fight the last boss. Still, if that is the case, that means this level is kind of a pain in the ass because I have to run back and forth. Only a few find the way. You already Some said that. don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Alright, so that's the driver walk. I should turn to the hatter. Correctly is a club spade.
I guess I was right about my theory then of the bosses being a suit each. door it is. Mm. Wish I had some old Templar knight telling me whether I chose wisely or not. Stop him. <laughs> now that we're drawing near the end, I kind of feel bad that there's a bunch of weapons we never really even used. Like the, uh, stopwatch or the dice. The dice are fucking terrible. Though I went back to read about them to see if I was, I don't know, using them wrong or something, and apparently when we picked up multiple dice throughout the game, we're actually increasing the number of dice we roll, which uh, gives you better rolls and can give you stronger monsters, but I don't like the randomness of them. I'd rather just do solid damage every time. Alright, so Tweedle something is a club. I wonder if there's gonna be anything in this level past that door, or I'm just gonna straight up jump into a boss fight in the next level. I think Tweedledee and Tweedledum were the only bosses who didn't have their own level. Or at least have their own level with nothing else in it but a boss arena. It's kind of annoying too because that was a long level, and uh, if I hadn't quick saved enough or at all, I probably would have died and had to start over the entire recording. And then it wouldn't be much of a blind run, would it? It'd be like my first couple episodes. You. Yay, we puzzle the bestest. Spawning these two guys because you know that they're fun to fight and not much of a challenge either. So it's more efficient than just to use the rockets on them. Though, in these later sections with the uh, Jabberwock's Eye Laser, I know it's called the Eye Staff, but laser seems more appropriate, uh, this game's title, or genre title, on uh, Wikipedia as a third-person shooter makes a bit more sense, seeing as we have the reticule and everything, and, uh, well, the Eye Staff. Alright. Well, the beating of a heart lies beyond this door, or Alice is just going crazy after killing some dude. And burying his heart beneath the floor. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fib, I speak the truth without regard to consequence. Your courage deserves no less. You've suffered great... Why are you teleporting? You've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. 
You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same... <coughs> And that's why you can't speak the- Ugh, oh, she's standing in his face now. And now she's sitting on his face, ugh. You know, you'd think she'd get used to people dying now. Alright, I'll see you guys next time in the final episode, Heart of Darkness. Into the Congo jungle we go.